what does a marketing analyst do? A marketing analyst helps marketing teams be more efficient by helping them make better and more informed decisions on how to use their budgets and resources. Based on the company's goals, the marketing analyst will look at different data points, tell their teams how things currently look, what should be done moving forward, and why it should be done that way to maximize said budget and resources. They play a key role in creating a company's marketing strategy and can have a huge impact on the efficiency of different teams. Hi, I'm Leia, part of the team here at Funnel where we create all the great content you need to shortcut your way to being a better marketer. In this video, I'm gonna cover what a marketing analyst does, their responsibilities and skills, and the skills you need if you want to become one yourself. So what do marketing analysts do? Similar to many marketing positions, the specific responsibilities can vary based on the company's goals. A big misconception people tend to have about the job role is that it's just making marketing reports like this one. The major difference to understand here is between reporting and analysis. If you tell them why, with visualizations with the data to back it up, along with how this affects the bottom line and recommendations on what to do based on that information, you're doing analysis. If you're like me and you learn better with analogies, then try to think of a marketing analyst as a chef at a restaurant. They create a meal to serve to customers, and over time they gather feedback from a survey to see what they thought about it. Now let's say that 70% of people come back saying it was a little too sweet and overcooked. The chef then takes that feedback, figures out what ingredients or cooking techniques need to be changed or improved, and advises their colleagues how they can improve it. Along with how these specific changes not only positively impact how good the meal is, but can also impact their business overall as they'll likely have more returning customers with the amended recipe. In the case of a marketing analyst, they basically do this, but with different campaigns or marketing activities and potentially less talk about food. What responsibilities do marketing analysts have? Typically, marketing analysts are responsible for analyzing data from various sources to identify different opportunities in the market. From this, they then produce reports outlining areas of growth, brand strategies, and client acquisition tactics such as optimizing stages in a funnel for increased conversions. They're also responsible for determining why certain campaigns work and some don't, and providing data-driven recommendations to decision makers, letting them know the impact these decisions can have on the company and its bottom line. Data collection and analysis. So they're responsible for collecting data and analyzing it, but what does that look like? Well, the process ultimately varies depending on the goals of the company, but for a basic understanding of how marketing analysis will look, often looks in these four stages. Setting objectives. So deciding what their goals are. Is it more sales, more signups for a SaaS product? If so, they'd need to analyze historical data to understand customer behavior and how they're interacting so they can optimize the strategy for that. Collecting and cleaning data. After establishing business objectives, they collect the data they need from different sources. This could come from platforms like Google Analytics, CRMs, social media, or even calculating which rounds with clients on the golf course turned into deals. They typically store all the data they've collected in a marketing data tool like Funnel, so they can easily connect, store, clean, and share their data all from one place, which moves us to stage three. Data analysis. This involves identifying what actually happened with their marketing efforts, determining what either went right or wrong, predicting future trends, and developing a plan of action moving forward and why. Visualize and share results. For this, they can take the data they stored in Funnel and easily send it to a visualization tool. From there, they'll present their findings with recommendations to decision makers on what to do with them, and again, why. So what skills do you need to be a marketing analyst? Skills and qualities. Let's start with data processing capabilities. This is important, especially if the job is more heavy in the data analysis side. So you'll likely be expected to be comfortable with programming languages such as SQL, R, Python, or data visualization tools such as Power BI, for example. It's also important to know your way around tools such as Google Analytics or other analytics platforms that are commonly used as you're bound to be working with them, as well as have an in-depth knowledge on search engine marketing campaign strategies and SEO practices. Project management. Marketing analysts can often be the one leading large efforts across different teams. Knowing how to lead projects or keep them in order is a great skill to have. Communication. Not only are they working with a lot of different people, they have to be experts in presenting their data and findings with a compelling story as to why certain actions should be taken from there. You can find out more about the importance of data storytelling here. But overall, a marketing analyst needs to be able to confidently communicate where the marketing team should focus their budgets and efforts ongoing. So communication is key. So what do you need to become a marketing analyst? Aside from what we just mentioned, some people switch from other marketing or analytical roles and some start from scratch. Now, what you need to get a job as one truly depends on the company that you're applying for and what they expect from you. But a lot of people in these roles either have a business or marketing degree or degrees with a relevant analytical background. However, you don't always need a degree to become one. It goes without saying that having studied marketing or something relevant to the role can help you understand and grasp things faster. 
but it is possible to acquire the knowledge you need without taking the formal education route. Our advice is to get the education in the best way that works for you. If that's in the form of a long university course or a crash course that earns you a certificate in a few weeks or months, then that's great. Once you have that, don't be scared to go for the opportunities that you want by either applying to change role at your own company or applying at a new company. That's it for today. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like this video so more people can see it and make sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the great content you need to shortcut your way to becoming a better marketer.